Hey guys, I'm just going to do a little uh, unbagging here. Um, Anthony uh, from TBRC Wings uh, was kind enough to send uh, send out a few kits of the uh, Reflex 38. I believe it's 38 inches uh, inches long. So we got it, and uh, <clears throat> I'm just going to do a little unpacking, and there's it's going to be a um, three or four part build video series I'm going to go along as I build it or whatnot and uh, we'll go from there so I just figured I'd uh, <coughs> get it uh, <coughs> show you what uh, comes in the kit everything is taped up here I'm just going to uh, hopefully I'll be able to get it all in all in shot here and just show you what comes with the kit and stuff so I didn't think uh, painters tape so difficult, so we're just going to rip it open here. <clears throat> so yeah, he was kind enough to send out a kit here, and we're going to build it. And uh, I'm not putting no OSD or anything in it or whatnot, so just stick a Dragon Link micro receiver in there and uh, maybe a 400 milliwatt VTX or whatnot. Just there's not going to be no return to home, no OSD or nothing. It's just going to be uh, just going to be some fun, fast, slow flying. So uh, that's what this is pretty much going to be meant for, I guess. So, <clears throat> so we got our uh, our elevons. Get that apart here. Elevons comes with the kit, of course. We have our blunt section, the center part, and you'll notice that the uh, the holes for the spars are uh, pre-cut for you, so there's no no messing about. You just uh, glue it up, fit it up. There is the main wings. So the finish is, uh, finish is very nice on it. And as you can see, the, uh, the hole is pre, uh, pre cut for you. And the wings as well. Comes with uh, some carbon, of course. So it comes with a nice thick carbon uh, spur and two smaller ones. And lastly, comes with uh, your winglets and a lid for your your electronics bay it comes with uh, get a lid and your two winglets I have to look at pictures because I forget exactly how they go so <laughs> Check that out here. And comes with a uh, nice ply motor mount. <clears throat> so we're going to space this out here and see if we can uh, give you an idea. By getting it all in shot. <clears throat> It's up here nice. You'll we'll see. I'm assuming this is so for the for the main. I don't know how deep this goes here. Like that. I'm just going to slide it through. I 
that. So we'll just snug that in, we'll get some glue on it. And I guess the small the small ones. I'm not sure what the where we want to put these probably probably across the bottom like that. I'm not sure. I have to uh, have to check that out. There's no holes for the smaller ones, so I'm probably just messing with Anthony and uh, let's see. I would say something like that. The elevons uh, put them out to the edge. like that and uh, I'm going to be running a 6x4 uh, APC so I'll probably just uh, draw a line like that there and just continue from that corner like I did with my original TBRC the version 1 back in the day just lined it up came in a couple inches and uh, lined it up with this and just carried straight through like that and uh, took a little bit off this here, maybe 10 degrees off. But uh, looks like I don't have to do that with this. As you can see, it doesn't uh, want to interfere, it won't rub up against your winglet or whatnot. So, <coughs> should be cool. So, yeah, it's going to be pretty straightforward uh, in regards to battery. I was planning to run a, a 4S. Planning to run a 4S um, 33, but I don't think it's going to fit. Oh, yeah, that'll fit. I believe that's fine. Lots of room there. So, yeah, I'm going to snug that in there with an ESC. And that's pretty much good to go. As for the camera, I have to work something out there. Probably gonna cut my own because um, with the uh, copy of this but uh, gonna make it uh, an inch longer. Maybe uh, Anthony for future kits can an inch longer and uh, cut a flute out and make it a 90. So it uh, basically your Nike fits down here like that and then hinges over so it makes your own hinge. That's what I did with my original TBRC. So you put that there like that now. I guess you could use magnets or something but uh, yeah just up like that. Make your, your flute, cut your back flute out and then you can use that as a hinge. Yeah. So I got some white coroplast and uh, I'll probably just uh, Make my own, or you can get another piece of something, just tape it or whatever. Just something to make a make it so you can make a 90 degree edge there, an angle. So yeah, I'm probably gonna go 4S with a. Uh, I don't know what kind of. I got a couple ESCs there, so I gotta look and see what I have there. I might have to order a new one if. Um, if I don't think the ESC is gonna handle the 4S on. Uh, the motor I got is a 28, I forget what it is now, 2822 or, or something like that, uh, 2200 kV, so that with a 6x4 uh, six uh, six APC should be good. So you just glue up your motor mount like that. I might, uh, I might chisel something out here for the ESC to be outside. Other than that, Looks like it's going to be a pretty straightforward and pretty easy build uh, for the for the uh, the paint or the uh, the trim. Um, that is yet to be determined. I got a few few ideas, but uh, you won't see that until it's done, and uh, so we'll go from there. I might leave the top. Uh, might leave the top. Uh, actually, I'm sorry. I might leave the bottom. I might leave the bottom. Um, plane and I might do something on top here I might break out the airbrush so that's, that's all I'm going to say with that and uh, we'll see how that turns out 
but if I'm um, going through the build or whatnot, I'll uh, I'll probably show that being done or whatnot. So yeah, I'm just gonna have to figure it now about these. I got a feeling it's uh, I got the feeling it is. Put this over. I can't see it being um, running out here because it's still creating a weak point there. So probably right there. I'll just uh, melt out a couple little uh, channels. And probably there like that, just a couple inches apart, whatnot. So we'll see. Yeah, it could be wrong how that's supposed to do or what these are for, but I'll figure that out. So anyways guys, uh, you can pick these up at uh, tbrc.com I believe. And um, Anthony also has a Facebook page, TBRC. Or TBRC Wings, I guess that's his Facebook page. You can check him out. I'll put a couple links in the uh, in the description or whatnot to the, the site. And uh, so yeah, I'm looking forward to getting this built and get it in the air. So anyways, guys, as always, thanks for watching. Give a thumbs up and uh, see you in the sky.